There's something that we often neglect, but we all need to do. Wait, let me show you. Grounding. Grounding or earthing is so important, yet many of us don't take the time to even stand on Mother Earth for just five minutes a day. So in this video, let's talk about grounding. If you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. Often we talk about health tips and tricks that may give us a little bit of benefit, but one that's not often talked about is grounding. Now, well, you could buy a grounding mat and you could make sure to use that every single day, especially in the winter when it's harder to touch the bare ground. And I do recommend using them as a supplement. What you actually could do and what really is the most easily available and accessible to us is the earth. Now you may be wondering how do you ground or earth every single day? And it's super simple. All you need is the earth or one of these five other places that you can actually make grounding work. You can actually ground on sand, grass, ceramic tile, brick, concrete. There's many different ways to be able to ground and it's so simple. All you need to do is get five to 20 minutes a day of direct contact. Of course, if the grass is moist, it's going to work better because that's how the electrical conductivity actually works. But by just standing on those, you're allowing your body to transfer ions that are going to actually be beneficial to de-stressing you, to bringing you back out of the technological age that we live in and really feeling peaceful once again. Now, if you work somewhere that has concrete, that has sand, tile, something like that, and you're allowed to, it may be beneficial to actually just walk around barefoot all day. Not only will the muscles in your feet actually become better adapted to walking around and navigating, as well as your ability to grip and a few other things with the feet, but the whole day you'll be getting grounding, especially when you're at work typically around technology and electronics. Now, why should we ground? Well, there are two types of ions that are constantly going through our body, positive and negative. And positive is going to be related to the earth, to this grounding, good forest bathing feeling. Well, negative, on the other hand, is actually linked to technology, uh, electricity, and all these different electrons that we're getting all day. Most of the time, most people have an off balance between positive and negative ions, meaning you're indoors, you're touching electronics, you're doing all this so often, you're not ever really outdoors standing barefoot on nature. You're never in nature, you're never getting those positive ions. You're only getting negative ions all day, every single day. I mean, that's the reason for me and many other people keeping a pink Himalayan sea salt lamp in their room lit all day long because it puts out those negative ions. Yes, that's the reason for it because it's combating the electricity that you're getting day in and day out. Now, according to many different studies, besides lowering blood pressure, besides helping with hypertension and decreasing stress, it can work for a lot more. So some of the other biochemical alterations include phosphorus, calcium metabolism, fibroid metabolism, white blood cells, and grounding can actually help calm your sympathetic nervous system, supporting your heart rate variability, which plays an important role in balancing in your autonomic nervous system. Pain relief, improved sleep, and a generally enhanced sense of well-being are but a few of the health benefits reported by people who try grounding. Now that is directly from Mercola's website, and what it's basically saying is using nature and using using the ground and really getting back into this atmosphere of earthing or grounding once a day, once a week, however frequent you can do it because you should do it. It's going to calm down your body. The sympathetic nervous system is constantly firing nowadays. All we do is look closely. We only see things that are immediately in front of us, which already triggers a sympathetic response. And we have all these different stimuli constantly encouraging sympathetic responses. The parasympathetic nervous system, on the other hand, is a relaxed and digest based nervous system. So what that is allowing you to do is calm down, is to really be present. And we talked about it in the Power of Now video where we were talking about living in the presence and how Eckhart Tolle wants you to be now. The easiest way to be now, the way, the easiest way to be present in a place that everybody uses from monks to gurus to anybody trying to meditate is the outdoors, is the long distance looking, is this grounding aspect that we can get only from outdoors. Of course, you can also get it in a biomat or some type of grounding mat that you put inside your house. But besides that, the easiest way, the most available thing you have is land, is grass, is concrete, sand, whatever it may be that you can go stand on for five to 10 to 20 minutes a day and really change your body and your mind. So 
That's it for this quick video on height and living. I wanna thank you for watching. If this video helped you in any way, make sure to press the like button, comment below with how often you like to ground, where you like to ground. Otherwise, make sure to subscribe so I can make more videos like this in the future. And I'm gonna actually get back to grounding, take my phone out of my pocket. So I'll talk to you later.